Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play B flat melodic minor scale and in particular how to do the top part where we need to do proper jump back fingers. So if you haven't already seen my video on A melodic minor, you should watch that first because that introduces you to up jump back fingering and goes through it in quite a lot of detail. Today I'm not using my usual violin, I'm using this little one which has the finger marks on there already. So that way you'll be able to see where my fingers are going more clearly. Hopefully that will be more helpful. Let's get started. So I'm going to be playing the top octave of B flat melodic minor. So let's start on low first on the A string and I'm going to show you how the whole thing will sound before breaking it down. of B flat melodic minor is the top tetrachord going up and back. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on F natural. Then we're going to play G and G is a low second but because the F is natural it's far away. So here is G. You can see that it's just above the first finger mark. Third finger is going to play A natural and then fourth finger is playing B flat. Now what we're going to do, using the same techniques discussed in the A melodic minor video, we're going to lift up the third finger and jump it back right on top of the second. Look how close it goes and I have not moved my four. Lift the second, jump it back on top of the first. And one. So let's take a moment to do the third finger jumps because in the A melodic minor video we did already first and second jumps. So I'm going to leave my second finger in its G natural position. I'm going to put the third finger on A and B flat right on top. I'm going to lift my third and put it on top of the two. Lift it up, put it right under the four, really really close. So this is the tap tap exercise. Once again it's strengthening your fingers and making it so they're going to move like little spider legs. So once you've got the hang of that, let's then do the upper tetrachord one more time. Back it goes, lift, up, lift, down. One more, smoothly now. when I'm playing that of course I have the mouse hole so you can see my bow poking through there and my left hand and wrist are loose and relaxed it's not like this it's not like this and as I move my fingers back as I jump them back it's done effortlessly and accurately so a common mistake I see is when people go to jump back they move the wrist out and kind of slide back this is really not good technique so let's now play B flat melodic minor. And again, I'm just gonna play the top octave. So from the B flat on the A string, here we go. trick that we need to cover for B flat melodic and that is when we're descending when we go to the fourth finger on the A string so it's going to look like this you've got one on the E and then the three is a low three so it's underneath that mark and the four is low so it's going to be just above that um, above that mark so when we go from the low first on the E we must block the fingers on like this three and four and then we can put the two down so let's do that a few times we've got F natural on they go block down goes the two and one more time so 
when I'm doing that, what we don't want to see is... We don't want to have these one fingers at a time. We want to block the three and four. So the spacing is going to be really good. And as you can see with the mark there, it's easy to see my third finger low is underneath the third finger mark. And the fourth finger low is just above it. So it's not up on the normal fourth spot. There it is. So let's do B flat melodic one more time and let's see how that works. <laughs> So there you have it, that's B flat melodic minor. And that's a really important scale because it really addresses the jump back fingers and making sure that you're using neat and correct technique. So if you practice those jump back fingers in the top tetrachord and that blocking as we go down to the A string, you're going to have a really good B flat melodic and you're going to be able to play that with a lot more speed and accuracy than if you don't practice those exercises. This technique can also be applied to B melodic, but I'll leave that for another video. See you next time.